Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt here and welcome to another house tour. So I'm stood in front of a brand new built home. It's priced at 1.425 million and it's on the market with Amir from Gravitas Residential. All his details will be in the description. So we are in Lambourne Ends, which is quite close to Chigwell here in Essex. We're gonna do a full house tour. There's some amazing things for you guys to see, such as a sauna, a turning table in the garage and an amazing entertainment area. So. Should we go check it out somewhere? Yeah, let's have a look. So obviously everything's very, very modern as it's all brand new. Um, it's a one, one off build and we're situated on quite a nice quiet country road, as you can see. And it's been really quiet since we've been here. CCTV cameras at the front. And guys, on this video, I wanna see if we can hit 1000 likes. So please smash that like button before we get into this tour and subscribe if you wanna see more house tours. Let's go. Here we are in the entrance then, the entrance porch. We've got the alarm fob here. There's so much technology throughout this house we'll show you. So come through these glass doors. We have the main living area on the ground floor. Amazing space. So we'll go and talk about all that kitchen area in a minute. I'll just show you guys the garden. So it's an ideal garden for entertaining perhaps someone who likes to have parties. You've got water fountain features back there. So we're actually in Essex today because of our subscriber, Peter, commented us for us to come here. So make sure you're commenting below what areas you want us to go to next. Right, come on through. Check out these stairs. I've got to show you guys these stairs. Glass see-through stairs. And we'll also pop up a picture on the screen of what this area would look like with furniture. It's quite hard to visualize with nothing in here. Yeah, the CGI's look really good though, don't they? So here's the kitchen space. It's quite high-end finish. You've got German quartz tops throughout. Then we've got the Siemens induction hob here and the extractor built into the ceiling to keep it minimal. Really good intention to detail summer. We were just having a look before, weren't we? And there's LED light strips all along here. Yes. Nice deep drawers and drawers on the top. Yeah, it's a nice finish. So we have the sink here as well. Got mirrored, tinted mirrored backsplash over here. That looks really nice. So across here, we've got what? Three Siemens ovens? Wait, it's one a microwave. This is a plate warmer. Oh yeah, that's it. But they are Siemens, Siemens ovens. <laughs> this is good. We yes. see so many houses where we always think there's not a big enough fridge freezer. They've gone and put a double sized American style one in here. This is my dream fridge because it's, look at that freezer section. So that's the free uh, fridge. <laughs> I actually think the fridge could be even bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the kitchen. I think we've covered everything there. What we've got this side as well is the technology sensor. You can pretty much control everything from here, right? So we're talking to the agent, you've got the lighting, answer machine, um, and yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much everything you can control. Now we're gonna show you inside the garage. This is one of our favorite features. Let me grab the camera from Summer and if you show us through, we'll check it out. Hey everyone. <laughs> I'm normally behind the camera. But... Yeah, Summer's making an appearance in front of the camera today, which is good. Quickly show you the downstairs toilet. They've gone for sort of a dark theme in here. And now into the garage. Oh my God, it's so cool, guys. For someone that doesn't like reversing or parallel parking, this is literally perfect. Speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's find the remote. I think it's up here. Where did you put it up here? I put it up there, yeah. Was it this one? So you get two remotes, guys. So you've got one for the garage door, sliding door, and one for this turntable. So let me get back. Some of you stay in the Wait, Which button is it, the one? Press number one, yeah. As you can see. So if I'm standing over here, that is so good. And it's actually really big. You could get two cars in here comfortably on that yeah. and spin them both around. You never have to turn or do a three point turn ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know in the comments, guys, if you'd like one of these in your house. Okay, so that is the garage shown. Where should we go next, Matt? So we've got one storage space in here. Let's yeah. show that. I know everyone likes to see all the cupboards. Boilers in there. Okay, let's head upstairs now, yeah? Yep. This is just a fuse box cupboard. Let's open it. I know okay. everyone wants to see all the cupboards. There we go, there guys. There we go. 
Let's mention as well the speaker system. Yes. So when we first came in, the agent had put all the music on throughout the house, um, which is really cool. Bedroom, down here, downstairs. It's a Sonos system. Yeah. Pretty cool. Let's check out these stairs. Let's yeah. go up them. I'm going to show you guys what it's like. So as yeah. you're walking up, if I look down, you it's can kind of see scary. all the way down to the basement level. <laughs> okay, so this is the kind of landing atrium. Is it an atrium? No. Yeah. The landing. Somewhere for a grand piano. Lots of natural I know what light. I would have up here. What? A motorbike. I'm just oh, Yes. Like a cafe racer one. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, let's show you guys the upstairs bathroom. By the way, guys, we're wearing coats because it's a really cold day. If you're watching from England, you will know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is a lovely bath, isn't it? Yeah, really I'm liking nice. the black hardware that they've used, the matte black. It's always nice when baths are freestanding as well. Definitely. And a double sink over here. With drawers. And the shower is round the corner if you want to go round I'll the corner. I'll meet you in there. Yeah, you go that way, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like an electric... Come have a look. Yeah, why don't you go under and turn on? No. <laughs> oh yeah, technology. Wow. Not there seen that before. I'll come all the way around. And here's the bathroom from this side. It's really nice. Nice, yeah, I'm enjoying looking around here. Let's keep going, what's next? Okay, we'll show you this bedroom first. There's not a bed in here, so you're gonna have to visualize, but you'd have the bed on this back wall. You've got views out to a lovely green field, because yeah. this house is surrounded by green belt countryside. Yeah, that's right. It would look a lot nicer in the summer months, but there we go. Yeah. Lots of wardrobe space. Okay. And it's that soft close and you push in so there's no handles. And obviously the TV would go straight in the middle there. So that keeps it minimal. Oh yeah, loads of storage. Lo loads, yeah. I really like the handleless yeah, same. look. And obviously guys, you've got the speakers through here as well, like someone mentioned. This definitely gives me party house. Yeah, for sure. Kind of bachelor, bachelorette. Footballer buyers, where are you at? Are you watching this video? Yeah. <laughs> So I think this is the smallest bedroom yep. out of them all. You get That's a small like twin bed. And again, the window's there. You can change the heat from all the bedrooms as well with heat miser. And here's another look at this glass area. Loads of natural light, but obviously you've got lots of lighting as well. Okay, let's go in this one. This is the second biggest bedroom, would you say? or maybe? No, I think that one you went in first yes. is bedroom two. This would be bedroom three. Yeah, that's right. You've got these windows over here where they push open. Yeah, I'm going to show you. And they've put wardrobes in here. I like that they've put extra cupboards. Yeah. You know when some wardrobes stop at the top? You've just got to be tall. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. And you've even got um, extra drawers in there as well. Yeah. Should we check out the master bedroom? Yes. So that is down the corridor to the end. So the master bedroom has its own ensuite and the other bedrooms share that family bathroom which we showed you at the start. But check out, you've got by nice four size. doors looking over your garden. Yeah, so here's the view to the garden. And guys, if you're enjoying the video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. And we still have the best to show you guys yet. We are going to go down to the basement where there's a sauna down there. And got the cinema room. Cinema room. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Um, and a kind of gym room or whatever yeah. you would want it to entertainment room, whatever you want yeah, to like do. Yeah, like an entertainment area. And make sure you're commenting as well where you want us to go next. Yes. Got the wardrobe space here. Um, if you'll come in and then shut the door so yeah, we can good idea. show how big it is. I would have personally liked another side of this. Yeah. I think I think for two people. The type of person that might be buying this house might have a lot of clothes. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> um, but the ensuite is really, really nice, similar to the one we showed you, but a bit smaller. So white marble and black 
Yeah, and it's really nice that it's a big shower and it's, it's like a wet room essentially. Yeah, so it's, it's, you like walk in and yeah. out, don't you? You've even got speakers in the shower, guys. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's cool. And that's the sink area. Party in the shower. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what do you guys think to the interior um, of this? I know it's not furnished, but I mean like the style of the bathrooms, the flooring. Let us know what you guys think. We love hearing your thoughts. Now shall we head to the basement? Yeah, let's check out the basement. Let's go. Lead us the w lead the, the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you looks like you can control your music and everything from here as well. When you go down the stairs, put the camera facing yeah. down so they can see what we're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go back behind the camera now. Okay, I'm going to show the basement, yeah? You show us around, Matt. Let's do it. Come on, guys. What do you think to this tiled wall, guys? Let us know. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so here we are. So let's start in this room first, which is the main entertainment room. Now, obviously, as you guys have probably picked up on, they had to excavate down quite a lot to create this whole level. This is basement level. So we are technically, you know, underground. So what they've done, like in the garden that we showed you at the start, you've got this whole LED, not LED, sorry, you've got this natural light strip that uh, lets a load of natural light in. That's actually open, isn't it? Yeah, so you can step oh, out. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was glass. I thought it was as well. That's why I was just standing looking at it. I think these are called light wells. Oh yeah, nice. I think you're right. We're going to tour an underground house in Cheshire yes. when it's built. And for the light, the um, developer has put in Light wells right. around. We actually toured that as it was in construction, like a building site. Yeah. We'll link that above. Um, but yeah, let's check out the rest of this area. So this is so cool. We have a sauna. You've got your very own sauna through here. And a shower and a toilet as well. Wow. I love that sauna smell. <laughs> is there anyone else or is that just me? I'm not sure what it smells like. They definitely have a smell. And then a shower here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, it's a sliding. I'm just a massive fan of the black fixtures and fittings over the chrome. Yeah, some same. It. It's kind of a new thing, the black tapware yeah. and hardware. And what you've got on the, on the floor as well is polished concrete. Give it that industrial modern vibe. Okay, let's keep going. Again, we've got our control centre here. This is the utility. Nice countertop, especially for a utility. A lot of the time when you see utility there, not as good of a quality. People yeah. have them as a second thought, but it's nice. So you've got washer, dryer. Well, probably two washing machines, actually. Much better idea, actually, because if you just have one washing machine, you have to do... Your darks and whites, wait for them to be yeah. finished, but you could do them at the same time. Yeah, great idea. Unless this is a completely different machine and we're yeah. just uneducated <laughs> <Yeah>. on it. <laughs> I'm sure people will let us know in the comments. <laughs> and this, guys, is the cinema room. So, we have lots of these places here. Basically, this is for the surround sound system. So you can oh, sorry. Get... Oh. I was just trying to dim the lights to show you. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good, yeah. And this is where the projector would go. So you'd have the screen over there, right? Yeah, so the projector would go up there and it would be on this wall. That's cool. There. Lots of LED lights, and if you guys are thinking, what's the airflow like in the basement? You've got these air filter systems throughout the house as well, which keeps the fresh air flowing. Yeah. All right, guys, let's talk to you a bit more about the area, especially for our viewers that aren't familiar with this area and our foreign views as well. We'll go back upstairs and talk to you about that. Hey guys, so that just about wraps up the actual house tour itself. We thought we'd just come up here and chat to you guys a bit more about the area. Obviously, we're not from Essex, so we need to check the details that we've been given. <laughs> so, we are, basically, if anyone knows Grange Hill Underground Station, that is around 10 minutes drive away. And then that will obviously give you access to the city. You've got the central line. And you're also quite close to, what's that word? Hainault Forest Country Park yep. on your doorstep. Charming country pubs, local amenities are dotted around for you guys to explore if you want to buy it. <laughs> yes. So what else are we near? Let's go on the bigger scale. So I think the most viewers. common place we're near, that not most common, I mean most known, is probably Chigwell. That's quite 
a yeah. well-known place in Essex, a nice place it's to live. It's a nice area, yeah. Um, but yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed the tour also. Make sure you're telling it now. So. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you're letting us know in the comments below what you thought of this house, if you enjoyed the tour, and obviously where you want us to go next. So yeah. we're reading all your comments, we, we look at them all, yeah. so let us know. We're trying to get um, some tours booked in all over the UK, so we yeah. can share different areas and compare. But what would you say your favourite thing about this house was? Favourite thing, I think, is the minimal and yeah. minimal like aesthetic that it has. I like the, the polished concrete floor. The white, you know, white marble and the black yeah. tops. I personally like the really minimal and, and not a crazy amount of colours. Yeah, white you know? and black. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like the tech as well. Mm -hmm. um, I do like technology in the house. I like that it would be decent energy rating. I like the, my favourite part is the kitchen yeah. and the garage turntable. Yes. If I had to change something about the house, I would personally have another room on this ground floor. Yeah. So an office. Like we an said, office. yeah, if we were living here, we'd need a good office, wouldn't we? Yeah, because I'm just thinking there's loads of bedrooms and there's loads of cool entertainment yeah. space downstairs, but maybe another room up here. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more house tours. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you in the next video.